take a look at these elephant ear pastries. They're baked right here at Bakery Delight in Plains, 41 years of baking tradition. Well, we're here in the bake shop at the back at Bakery Delight, and this is Andrew Kosmach. Andrew, what are we making today? We are making puff dough, or French pastry dough. It's going to become elephant ears. I love it. Those things are so cool. They're huge. They are. <laughs> so where do we start? Okay, so we're gonna start by putting water and ice in the mixer, okay. and then we have our dry ingredients, which is flour, salt, and that goes right in. And as you can see, this isn't like your kitchen at home. I mean, no, <laughs> yeah, like this makes a lot. <laughs> yeah, big So, quantities. and then you'll, you'll put the butter in last. All right. So close that, and you'll run it on low, just for two, three minutes. All right. Until it starts coming together, and then we'll, we'll throw it on high. Okay. Well, our dough is all ready, right, Andrew? That's right. Okay, so let's continue. All right, I'm just gonna take it out of okay. the mixer and put it up here. All righty. So you've kind of put some uh, flour on the table? Yeah, it could be, especially in this hot weather, yeah. it could get a little sticky. Okay, oh wow, there's more. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> yep, and this is, this is all of it. So then what I'll do is I'll just line up about six pieces, best I could. Right. And I'll just cut it. It's a nice dough. Then, once I get them cut, I'll take one and I'll come over to the scale. And they should weigh about, about nine pounds, so I'll just take a little more from one of the bigger pieces. You want to be consistent, right, with every Yes, every it's got to be weighed out. And look at that, nine Wow, perfect. that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Andrew, what are we doing here? Here we are gonna flatten it out and mix the butter in it. Okay. It's called a lamination process. Just take some flour, put a little of that down. Let's take mm. this right over, and I'll take a rolling pin out. You want to just kind of, not too, too big. So I'll start, sometimes it, it'll, it'll end up a little thinner or right. thicker than, okay. it's different every time. So this dough is pretty versatile, right? You could use it for other things? Yeah, yeah, other than the elephant ears, you could use it for the fruit strips, the twists, the turnovers, the lady locks. Okay, so now that I have it here, mm -hmm. you just kind of want to square it out a little bit. Yep. Make it nice and even. And then I'm gonna take this butter, big old chunk of butter. And what you want to do is just, you want to go about two thirds. You don't want to get too close to the edge or else it'll be running out. Oh, I got you. Mm-hmm. Once it starts flattening like that, mm -hmm. we're literally putting the dough's weight and butter wow. inside it. That's what makes it so good. Oh, I know. <laughs> Everybody loves butter. It's a truth. And then you want to just fold it over, make sure your ends are nice and sealed. And you take the other side and you fold that over as well. Then you'll pick it up nice and gently, put it on here. And I'll usually just take this, makes it a little easier for the next step. So after we let it rest for a few minutes, next is the actual roll without the butter. And now this roll is the first of three. The next three rolls will be the same thing. Do you keep it the same thickness or do you make it a little bit um, I'll thinner? make it a little bit thinner this time. Okay. So after it gets all the way through. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty it long. quite long. <laughs> so I'll fold it once this way, once this way, and I'll take the whole thing, fold it over like a book. Wow, okay. So we're creating layers, right? This, you said? Yes, there will at, by the end of the third roll, there will be over a hundred layers. Wow, that's awesome. So then take it again, put it back on the tray. Now, do you need it to rest in, in between every one? Every one, yeah, because if it's too stiff, the dough could rip. And then I'll just do that just to make it a little easier for the next roll. So this was the end of the first roll, and there will be two more rolls after this, same way and that will be the end of the puff dough, and then we'll be on to Sarah with the elephant ears. Great, thanks so much, Andrew. Thank you. Okay, so right now I'm here with Sarah Wheeler, and Sarah, we are ready for the next step, right? Yes. All right, so what's happening? So we're gonna take this dough, and we're gonna put it right on the sheeter, and we're gonna flatten it out so nice and smooth. Okay, and then we'll work with it from there. Yes. All right. 
can wear it, place it on the bench and roll it right back out. Oh, okay, that was easy. And after that, I'm gonna grab my rolling pin. Okay. Let it shrink back. Okay. Then I'll grab my cinnamon and sugar. All right, so that's a mixture of the yes. two? Yes. All right. And just a nice even coat, nice and smooth along the whole piece of dough. And right on the bottom, I'll leave just a little bit so I could seal it with some egg wash. Okay. And then right now, I'm just pressing down the cinnamon and sugar so it stays in place. So right now, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna roll it up. So that's what's gonna give it that swirly look? Yes, just like a cinnamon bun. Okay. I just love how everything is like so uh, handcrafted here and it's just- Everything, yes. Yeah, it's everything, the breads, the cakes, the cookies, like everything is done here on premises. A lot of work and a lot of love. Everything's loving. from start to finish. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna grab my egg wash and we'll just go right across the bottom to seal it up. Okay. Then I'm gonna get my cutter. Okay. And I'll take about my hand width. Yes. And I'll take one cut and we'll just do the whole thing and just cut them and in half. And each one of those cuts is one? Yes, one elephant ear. And then we'll cut them in half again. So I'm gonna take this piece and yep. I'm gonna grab my palm and I will flatten it out. Mm -hmm. And I'll also take this one as well and I'll flatten it out. Then we'll put this one right in the middle and put them right on the pan. Mm -hmm. Now they're starting to look like yep. elephant ears. <laughs> Okay, so now that they're flattened, we're going to put them in the oven for 375 for 20 minutes. Wow, that's quick. Yes. They look terrific, Sarah. Well, thank you. There's so much to offer here at Bakery Delight. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it and what you have? Well, we have muffins and cookies and cupcakes. We also have lots of breads to choose from and bagels. And rolls and you also offer specialty cakes, wedding yes. cakes. And the other really cool thing is you have a drive through window. A drive window. through, exactly. You don't even have to walk in the store. So why don't you tell everybody where you're located? We're located at 290 South River Street in Plains. Terrific. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Well, thank you it. for coming. You're welcome.